Your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Always check the weather before you head out on the boat, and that includes just a short boat ride as part of the boat manual out there, and you can always check that on our 48 First Alert weather app as well. Uh, glad that they were saved by the Coast Guard with that. The Breeze Camera Network out in the Shoals, Wilson Lake looking good. Speaking of boating, many of you may be getting the boat out for the first time this year after unwinterizing it, or you're figuring out who's going to unwinterize it for you uh, this weekend. Just make sure you've got all your life jackets out there and be prepared. Again, boating season and about to get underway here. Uh, not quite pool season yet, but you may lay out by the pool this weekend. Check out these numbers. 78 degrees Saturday, 80 Sunday. Morning sunrise services. Temperatures will be in the 50s, in the mid 50s at that. Sunrise Easter Sunday at 6. 33 current temperatures starting to fall into the upper 40s in many areas uh, before getting into the upper 30s. There is a possibility that in the sheltered valleys we could see some frost, but it's looking very, very isolated. I still don't think we've seen the last threat of frost for the season that may come later next week. Check out the numbers, all the blue up here, the Great Lakes up to Sioux Falls up in South Dakota. The, the green is outweighing the blue, though. It's the warm air that south winds picking up and it's going to push all that colder air to the north temporarily. But it's coming back, though. It's kind of a seesaw effect. It'll be coming back as we get on into the, or, uh, the middle of next week, definitely down here. We've got a clear sky out there tonight. We'll have plenty of sunshine again tomorrow. High tree pollen. It's just that time of year. So tonight, 38 for the low. Southeast winds very light. Clear sky, patchy frost. Sunrise at 639. And tomorrow, a lot of bikers out there. So be on the lookout for that. Also, kids on their bikes. We've got motorcycles out there. And it's going to be that way this weekend. So again, pay attention out there on the area road. 71 degrees, getting warmer each and every day. No rain in the forecast until we get at the earliest. This would be late Monday into Tuesday, and I think our better chance is coming up Tuesday and some of the storms could be strong, but I will tell you the model guidance coming in this afternoon was trending farther north with that main area low pressure. And that's what we watch is the trends. So right now I think we'll see some strong thunderstorms with heavy rain, a bit of a question as to how strong those storms could be if we'll get severe weather. But right now there's enough of a threat to give you a 48 first alert. So just keep checking back for updates uh, throughout the weekend on this widespread heavy rain. The other thing we're worried uh, we're watching is the potential here on the timing. It may be later, it may actually get into Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, but we are looking at a cool down behind that highs, perhaps 59 degrees Wednesday and 58 Thursday overnight lows, upper 30s. So another threat for frost coming behind the stormy weather that's moving in Tuesday. But a lot of you just thinking about what you're going to do for the weekend, right? 